sort of stylistically how it changes the actor, that it opens up multiple possibilities. So I think that's what I was most fascinated by. It was really neat to sit back and watch and witness that. Great. How familiar are you with this technique? Well, actually, I did the intensive last winter and um, had a great time. I also took this in my first acting class at the University of Florida, so I've been able to use it. I've been directed by a Michael Chekhov um, teacher, so that was used in a show I was in, Miss Witherspoon, which was fabulous because we had a common dialogue that we could um, work on the character together, so I loved that, having that communication, and it really helped me to give me a focal point in the rehearsal process as an actor and then I actually taught acting for non-majors at the University of Florida where I was able to instill a lot of these tools and translate them to um, acting for non-majors which was a blast. We did a lot with psychological gesture, um, the three sister sensations, those were things that we focused on, focal points was a big one. So we had a blast, yeah, it's been great. Hi, what do you take away from this evening's I think how transformational the tools can be and how they can transform the actor into the character and, and also how it opens up the interpretation for the actor. And how familiar um, are you with the Chekhov technique? I did the winter intensive January 2013 and I did the summer intensive in 2013 and I have been using the tools in my acting one class and also I directed a musical for young audiences. Miss Nelson is missing and I used the tools as part of my rehearsal process. And which tools do uh, your students appreciate the most? We use the archetypal gesture in my acting one class a lot to help physicalize objectives and intentions and I think that that was enormously helpful. My favorite person is... One minute on your imaginary bodies. Thank you.